This video will show you how to unbreak your OFW after doing a system wipe or Haku 33 before and on firmware 17.00 or later. Let's get started. So the Encorp made some significant changes on firmware 17.0.0 when it was released on 10th October 2023. At that time, the developers worked really hard to find the sick patches and it took about 2 weeks to solve it. And the other thing is the semi-break issue. Those who executed the system wipe or Haku 33 on firmware 17.0.0 or earlier discovered that they couldn't boot the official firmware afterward. Actually, this semi-brick issue was addressed promptly when Atmosphere 1.6.1 was released. I made this video because many people are still experiencing this issue and cannot find an issue solution for it. So let's get into it. This is my modded console running on the stock side, and it is on firmware 17.0.1. Let's perform a reboot and let it boot to Hecate. Remember, this is just a simulation to intentionally semi-break the stock side. Do not follow this step if you are unsure. By the way, I'm using my hatch pack. You can download my pack in the description below. Select payload, then select the lockpick RCM payload to get the console keys. Then select dump from sys10. Press any key to get back to the main menu. Then select payloads. Select Tegra Explorer. Select System Wipe and select the Sys MMC. Then press the power button to proceed with the wiping process. Press any key to get back to the main menu. We can boot directly to the stock site by selecting Reboot normally, but I will show you how to do the same thing via Hecate. Select the update.bin payload. Now select Reboot, then OFW. You will see the company logo, then nothing. In this situation, many people panic and think their console is damaged and don't know how to fix it. To get out of the darkness, press and hold the power button for 12 seconds and repress the power button to get back to Hecate. For a soft modded V1, you need to do the same thing, but later you need to re-inject the Hecate payload. For those who haven't updated the Atmosphere and Hecate version, now is the time to do so. We will use the Hecate USB tools to transfer some files to the microSD card. Get a USB Type-C cable and connect the console to your computer. Click Tools, then USB Tools, disable the read-only option, then select SD card. Download the latest head spec release and put it anywhere on your computer. Open the file explorer on your computer and find the mounted SD card drive. Delete the existing atmosphere and the bootloader folder. Then open the headspec archive. Select all the files and extract it to the SD card. Replace all the files if prompted. Then eject the drive safely. Back to Hecate, press close. And remove the USB cable. Get back to the Hecate main page. Select launch, then select the Sys MMC CFW. The console Sys MMC CFW should be working now. Please continue to set it up. Now try to reload the Sys MMC OFW.
That's it, your console is now fully repaired. Wasn't that easy? The key to fixing this kind of issue is to first load the SIS MMC CFW. By allowing the latest atmosphere to repair the brick, you will then be able to seamlessly load the OFW without any problems. Please ignore anyone who tells you not to load the SIS MMC CFW. It's perfectly safe as long as you avoid installing pirated games or apps like Tinfoil. Those who suggest otherwise are misinformed, so don't pay them any attention. Thank you for watching this short video guide. I hope you like it and see you in the next video.